Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a question in from Kagan. I hope I'm saying that right. This is on the email. Uh, the heading of the email was a question, sports photography as a student. So uh, he says, my question, hello Matt, I have done uh, recently done a search on the Art of the Image YouTube channel in order to find answers to my sports photography related question. I acknowledge the tips you have given in sports photography related videos of yours. However, I cannot seem to find the answers I am looking for. So here's my question. I shoot indoor basketball games for a college newspaper in the U.S. where I am myself, I'm a student. The arena I am shooting in has more than decent lighting as it belongs to one of the most competitive colleges in basketball. I currently shoot with a Nikon D7000 that I bought secondhand for a pretty good deal and an old Nikkor 80-200 f2.8. The problem I ran into with this setup is that I do not have enough rim to back off in order to get everything in the frame, especially while I'm shooting from under the rim. I wonder if I should go full frame and be able to use that 80-200 to at 80 and be fine or get myself another used crop sensor camera and a fast and wider lens to use as a second body. I would like to note that I'm on a budget, though not too tight. I would really appreciate it if you could help me with my decision. Sincerely, Kagan. Well, thank you for your question. And an interesting question is coming, I mean, obviously, a couple of routes you could go here. Um, if you went with, for instance, a D750, you'd have one of the best of Nikon's autofocus systems, very competent indoors. Um, and uh, you could use your 80 to 200. And yeah, you would have that uh, ability to. You know, 80 on the 750 is going to be much wider than 80 on your 7000, the crop DX body. If you do that, um, I think you'd find, uh, well, you wouldn't know till you tried it. Maybe you could borrow that body or, or rent it. Or, or if you have a friend with another full frame body, even a 610, you'd be able to get an idea for how wide it actually is. And then you would know if 80 is wide enough for you on full frame in your shooting environment. Your other option you suggested was getting another used crop sensor. Well, I would step into at least a 7100, uh, and if you can, probably a 7200, simply because the 7100 and the 7200 have um, the 24 megapixel sensor, a better sensor, a very good low light, and um, both have very good autofocus systems. So you're going to see uh, probably a little bump in autofocus. And the 7200 advantage over the 71 is a deeper shot buffer. So when you're shooting and you need to shoot high frames per second, your camera's not going to block up and have to wait for it to clear to memory. Um, with the 7200, it won't do that as fast as if it would when you're shooting the 7100. In other words, 7200 is better in that regard. Uh, the, if you're going to do that, faster, wider lens, um, you know, you could keep a 17 to 50 or um, something even maybe a 17 to 70 sigma an 18 to 140 even kit lens some people like that lens shoot sports with it successfully not as fast a lens but you could keep another wider lens like that probably what i would do would would, would uh, go with the 17 to 50 f280 s from sigma very fast focusing very good performing very sharp very capable lens. I like it better than both of the offerings from Nikon and Canon. And you can get it for a much better price, which is part of why I like it. It's good value. Um, so that would be a good twin system to have. It would give you um, width when you need it, and it would give you that reach on the other one when you need it. Um, which way to go, only you can really decide. I would suggest maybe if you can, either borrow or rent. It would be best if you could borrow because it would be no cost. A... Um, Full frame Nikon body to see if that 8200 on full frame is going to do the job for you. If it's, if the 80 is wide enough, because then you can you have the information to make a better decision. So I would try to get a hold of one of those before you make a decision, and then um, if it's not, then you know that your cost is going to be more for more lenses in full frame as well. Um, I certainly would say if you had the money, the full frame camera is a great idea. But um, you may, be, with being on a bit of a budget, you may be better served for getting that Sigma 17 to 50 and another used crop sensor. You could even get another 7,000 for probably a very low price and solve the whole problem. But I think the first thing you need to do is is uh, borrow a, cro or a full frame. It doesn't even matter if it's Nikon, to be honest with you. If somebody there is shooting a canon 6d with a 70 to 200 on it or even something that has 70 like a, a, a lens that has the 70 range on it set it ask me if you could just borrow it for a second explain your situation say i'd just like to look through the viewfinder at 70 or 80 to see what my nikon full frame camera would look like with this lens and then you then you'll know then you'll have the information you need um all good options but until you i, I would get that piece of information before i made my my decision Throw it back to our viewers. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Should he 
see if he can get a hold of a full frame camera and see what the 80 mil setting looks like on full frame in his shooting environment. Do you think he should go with a used crop sensor and something much wider? Give him a lot more width, right? For his budget. What do you think he should do? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you would do and why. Maybe there's another suggestion that we didn't bring up here. Um, looking forward to hearing your feedback. Let's help out Keg and thanks for your question. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.